Hello guys and welcome back to Rich Mindset and today we're gonna talk about a topic that is discussed even by the great minds of our world and that is together it's better, alone it's almost impossible. Most of us I'm sure managed to get ourselves in a situation where we wanted to do everything by ourselves. Even me I did this for more than seven to eight years until I realized that I cannot be everyone, everywhere at the same time. It took me a long, long time until I get rid of this complex because it was hard to let go of some task that although maybe some other people will do even better than me, I knew I could have done them maybe faster, maybe, I don't know, easier or and so on and so on. So today we're going to talk about why it's really important to understand the power of working together and not trying to build everything by yourself. We're going to talk about some things that I discovered during the last years that let that made me let go of this complex and actually get those people that can improve the quality of my business in this example to the next level. And this is really important in every aspect of your life. Well, the first thing that you must do in order to understand how difficult it is to work alone, it's to break down a task. It doesn't matter how small or big that task is, it has for sure more than one step. So take that task, for example, today for me to make a video and break it down into more pieces. For example, the first thing that you should do is plan when you're going to make the video. The second thing is plan the topic that you are going to use in the video. Third thing is making a thumbnail for the video. Fourth thing is making a text for the post announcing the video. Then making a reminder of the video that you're going to post. Then actually put the equipment in, in place in order to do it. Uh, and so on and so on until you get all the steps needed in order to make a video. Well, at the beginning I did all of this by myself, but in order to be more efficient, now Marius is putting the setup on, uh, the guys are posting the uh, reminder and the announcement, and meanwhile I can think about the topic that I have to talk about you and what I'm going to say in it. So in the same hour, working together, we manage to do it faster, more efficient, and of course, we, we, we are able to do it in time as we always do every single week. Now, this is one example that I can use, but there are so many others in your private uh, life or business life that I'm sure you can think about it as we talk. Another thing that will allow you to understand that together we can do more than alone, it's the long run. Every single plan or objective that you put in mind must have some steps you need to take care of. For example, if you want to reach financial independence, what do you need to do there? Maybe you do not have that answer, so you need to get somebody that is an expert in it. Maybe you, can, you need to talk to somebody that already took that steps. Maybe you need to make a research on the internet to see what are the steps needed and the people that you need in your business. Even the biggest successes of our uh, our world like Apple, like Amazon, like Facebook and so on did the same thing. Do you really think that Mark Zuckerberg or, um, um, or Bill Gates or Stephen Jobs did everything by, by themselves? Do you really think that Steve Jobs built the computer by itself or wrote the language by itself? No, of course not. He had an idea and he got the people to do it, those people that are more experts in that specific domain in order to get it done. So why do you, we struggle with this complex? Why do we always want to do something by ourselves? Well, the first answer that I managed to get in all my experience, it's the fear that we have to let something, something out of our hands, out of our control. Well, the thing that you can do in order to let that fear go and actually get that task to somebody else, it's 
making yourself understand that there is somebody out there that it's more experienced than you for example when i started doing facebook ads at the beginning i thought i can do everything until gabriel my brother showed me that he already did it he already has a funnel he knows how to put it in he understands how the public the public audience thinks and I started an understanding that he has a bigger experience and then I started asking him in order to get my things even better. Now after years and years and years of experience it is hard for me to let it go because of the experience that I gathered. But let me put it like this. Meanwhile I understood that I am better at something else, at selling. And now there is a really hard decision that I have to make to let that system into somebody else's hands or to sell and do whatever I like. But in order to understand how easy that the decision actually was, I made a list of pro and cons. So I took what I can do with Facebook ads and what can it bring me on a long term and I took what I can do by selling and what it can bring me on a long term. I don't say they're not important. But I say that the selling part can bring me closer to my objective faster. So if I do the selling part better and I know I do it better, then why don't I teach somebody else to do the ads part in order to free my time so I can sell? So the thing, the best thing that you can do is remove that fear with a list of pro and cons. The second thing that you need to do is actually train somebody to think like you, but give him the freedom to create like him. There are a lot of people out there that may seem certain situations, certain things different than you. That is not necessarily a bad thing. That can bring a fresh overview of the entire situation. So you can test that by doing the show, tell, show, watch, go method. Tell him what to do, show him how to do it, watch him how he does it, see if it's what you need in order to get to the next stop and then go. So using this method will give you the control that you need in order to put the task in somebody else's hand and give you the freedom to do what you like even more. So these are the two things that I discovered during the years that can give you a better overview of how you can work with, uh, with others without being afraid you are going to lose control or without being afraid they are not going to do a good job and so on and so on. Because fear is maybe the most important uh, factor in taking this decision. There are some other factors like for example uh, you are a, a perfectionist and this is maybe the worst thing that you can do. It is a trade you need to get out of as soon as possible because there's nothing perfect in this world and even the most sold products like the phones from Apple are tested on a daily basis even today by the feedback they get in the market. So this is another way, another thing that you have to remove from your process of handing out tests to somebody else. And the biggest advantage that you get by working with somebody else is that it will shorten the time you need in order to achieve your goals. Working collateral in multiple directions, building the same business, but in the same time will allow your business, will allow your objective to be achieved faster than you think. So what do you think it will happen? What do you think would happen with Steve Jobs if he done the PC by himself? Do you think he would have the time to go further and develop like phones, smartphones and system and so on? Or do you think he's going to be stuck in order to improve that PC that he barely launched, launched let's say half a year ago? So by doing everything by yourself would not give you the accessibility to get shit done faster. So guys, Remove the fear of giving tasks to somebody else. Remove the perfectionist inside yourself because it only makes you weaker. And learn to work in a team in order to achieve your goals faster. Giving tasks to somebody else may be the best thing you can do for your dreams. Guys, I hope you understand the message that I sent. Talk to you in two weeks from now. Until then, hustle hard. 
for your dreams, never start, but do it together because it's the most efficient way you could ever achieve your dreams. Bye bye.